basketball players. <laughs> Not yet, but then we don't know that. They are self-propelled machines programmed for only one purpose, and that is to seek and destroy. Kind of like basketball players. Our Andre Morrow is live in Hollywood with more on the sport that's clawing its way from the underground to the mainstream. Andre? That's right. The good news here is that nobody gets hurt. It is machine versus machine. It made its first big splash at a competition in 1994 in San Francisco. The makers of this competition say it is the sport of the millennium. It's called BattleBots. Take a look at this and see what you think. What's got six wheels, a chainsaw, and an attitude? Well, if you ask these guys, it could be any player in the sport of the future. Catching on very quickly as it's getting more and more exposure, and it could hit something big like uh, akin to wrestling or NASCAR or monster trucks. Christian Carlberg and Jason Dante Bartis are college buddies. Ivy League engineers who spend their free time building robots that, well, destroy other robots. It's all in today's work in a sport known as battle bots. It's kind of like a nicer version of hockey. And it's nice because you could walk away and nobody gets hurt. Yeah, nobody but the robots. Today, Christian is fine-tuning a 325-pound wrecking machine called Minya. And I'm putting on a Briggs & Stratton 5-horsepower gas engine. It has only one purpose, and that's to drive these saw blades. There are different types and weight classes of battle bots. Heavyweights can weigh up to 400 pounds. And while the 50-pound lightweights are smaller, they're just as deadly. What I'm holding here is a pair of scuba spear guns. Down here on the front, I have my nastiest weapon. This was a, uh, a Craftsman gas-powered chainsaw. In a sign that even corporate America is starting to take notice of mad scientists like Christian and Jason, the Lego Corporation gave each of them $1,000 to build Lego versions of their battling bots. In the end, if this is going to be the next this, battle bots will need corporate sponsorship because these things aren't cheap. Somewhere together, maybe around seven grand, somewhere around there. It, it, believe it or not, when you throw in all the nuts and bolts and you throw all the machining costs uh, and you throw your time into it, it gets up there. What do I get out of it? I get fun. It's a tremendous amount of fun. As far as the money, well, that's okay because it's, it's, you're learning a lot. It's knowledge and then at the end you have a lot of fun beating up somebody else's robot. Now, that was an actual clip from a contest in Long Beach. Now, we've got Chris and Jason here live in this parking lot. We're going to show you an actual demonstration of these robotic machines when we come back. For now, we're live in Hollywood. I'm Andre Morrow, KCAL 9 News. Back to you in the studio, guys. Okay, Andre. Yeah, and I guess you can't find those on ToysRUs.com, huh? <laughs> Not yet. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, these days, um, 